Hello YouTube, this is Quick Review and today I'm going to be talking about free image editing software for Mac. And as you can see, this is Photoscape X. I downloaded it about a month ago. I give it a good run uh, and I'm comparing this to some other free editing software such as Photo Filter, Picasa, Photo Plus. And in my opinion, Photoscape X comes absolutely on top of all of them and reason is it's very easy to use it's very intuitive and comes with a bunch of different features and tools that most likely you won't find anywhere else so for those of you who are not familiar with the photoscape x again it comes in two flavors you can download for windows or mac operating system versions you can download free one straight from their website or for $40 more, you can upgrade to Pro, which again will unlock a lot of additional features and tools that you won't find in free version. Now, let's dig right into it. This is basically what you're going to get once you open the program. Uh, on the left hand side, you're going to see your folders by just selecting, of course, any folder. You're going to see pictures, the photos that the uh, folder contains. This is the stuff that I really like. It might be like, you know, very funny to many, but I like this slider because you can decrease or increase the size of thumbnails. So for example, if you have hundreds of files in any of those folders, by decreasing the size of thumbnails, you can pretty much fit everything into one screen. So let's go and check the viewer itself. Once you open the file, of course, you're gonna find EXIF information right off the bat down in the bottom right corner. So this one in particular shot at 320 millimeter focal length. ISO was 400 um, F5.6 and the shutter was at 32 hundredths of the second. Um, you don't need to dig for this information. What I found really cool, it will be displayed but then again, it's not overwhelming. You don't need anything other than this information, but you can actually go into EXIF even further. I'm not gonna spend too much time on it, but just to give you an idea. Here at the bottom left corner, you're gonna go and see a slider that you can zoom in and zoom out of the picture. Uh, with one by one, of course, you're gonna see the photo at 100% zoom and then going into fitted mode is just take the click of the mouse. So overall, as I said, uh, the look and feel, it's very clean and it's very intuitive. Here on the sides with arrows pointing back and forth, you can move through your files. So it's very cool and very easy, I guess, to work with. There is other viewing options. So for example, I can see thumbnails, I can see list view, or I can see loop view, which again, it's really, really cool. Now, if I click that last button, I'm gonna see basically the picture, um, you know, in a full screen mode, which really brings, um, you know, like a, let's say options of displaying into next level. Now, I'm not going to spend actually too much time into viewer section because I believe that beef of this product really lies in editor. You can go into editor section two different ways. You can click on editor and then pick the picture or photo that you want to edit, or you can just go through viewer. So if I double click this picture, right click on it, I'm going to click edit and here we are. Now in edit section, of course, you're going to find a slider. You can go and see you know, in full detail. Uh, but in our case, for example, if we're dealing with this photo, uh, on the right hand side, you're going to find resize crop. This is what you're going to probably begin with when you edit the photo. And then down below, you're going to see all bunch of different things. Now, just to give you an idea, uh, features like this will be most likely tied up with much more sophisticated software. And again, all of that stuff will come with a cost. Right now, we're dealing with free version. As I can tell you, uh, a lot of stuff that you will find here, it's very, very sophisticated. Now, um, this section here, for example, everything what it's marked under Pro, you need to pay $40 in order to unlock that section. Now, effect itself, as you can see, there's at least about, you know, half dozen, actually two dozen effects that you will find in Photoscape X. 
Um, in, in many, many cases, like uh, stuff like this will be helpful if you want to very quickly um, and, you know, uh, speed up the process of post-processing or come up with a look that you really, really like. So Photoscape X definitely won't let you down. Now, going back to color section, this is actually stuff that I really like. You can play with auto levels, auto contrast. You can change the vibrance, for example, clarity. You can dehaze, you can lighten the shadows. So a bunch of different features and options that I really, truly like. Now, again, like if you do a lot of photo editing, in this section, you can play with exposure, gamma correction, brightness, temperature, tint, and also you can play with RGB channel. Um, you can, you know, go and change total look of the picture, which is, in my opinion, once again, a truly amazing option. One thing that I have to mention before I get out of this section, it's masking. Now, again, I couldn't find any other software that will give you this feature. So, for example, if I will click masking, um, just to give you an idea of what can you do. Um, if I select, for example, just this bridge and, you know, just go with simple desaturation. Again, you see what this product can do. And this really can unlock a lot of, um, you know, different ways how you want to process things around. So uh, really imagination comes to play right here. Uh, in a film section, of course, you're going to find another uh, section with a lot of free stuff. These are the presets. And of course, right down here, you're going to find pro version. Once again, you have to pay for it. But amount of free presets that you will find in six different sections, it's really mind blowing. Um, framing, again, uh, this will be probably um, pretty even across the board with some other stuff that I tried. So you can apply frames, shapes, or borders. Very cool thing. But each of those sections give you fine tuning tools with a roundness or effect, uh, I guess, you know, how much actual um, effect you wanna, you wanna apply to it. So really, really cool stuff. Uh, you can insert stickers, images, text, you can magnify things, you can apply filters, arrows, lines. So truly, uh, your imagination can take over and you can do a bunch of different things. So once again, um, I'm not going to dig again too much into details. There is a bunch of other stuff that I can cover in this video, but I try not to make it like a very, very long. So once again, after about a month of use, I can tell you the Photoscape is truly amazing piece of software. Uh, and I will recommend to anybody who would like to uh, view their photos and do kind of like a basic to intermediate photo editing, this software will be right for you. So once again, thanks for watching. If you like the video and find it informative or interesting, please click that like and subscribe button and I will check with you on next one.